VV just landed possibly Naruto IP on the VV app. So in today's video, we're going to be breaking down what I think about this acquisition in terms of the IP and what it means for VV in the future. So with that being said, let's go ahead and just dive into the video. All right. So it appears just uh, yesterday or the day before, it looks like they just streamed that they have released this footage showing that they acquired Viz Media IP, or at least to be licensed on the app, of course. Uh, so we're going to be diving into what that could mean for VV. Now, based on the black, is it black, pink, pink, black? I I don't know um their drop did not that great as i think people had hoped for i think there was like there's millions and millions of people that follow the black pink account over on socials and what have you um so this is something that i'm definitely going to be looking at because naruto in my opinion is much larger in the grand scope of things it is a world uh, renowned ip uh very popular in asia and in the west so all right as we were filming this video it looks like luca nets over there at pudgies has actually dropped here a teaser showing naruto himself and he posted an emoji saying soon so you know again if you don't know who pudgy penguins are obviously one of the biggest ips in web3 uh but this is an interesting move so we could see uh viz media and naruto be dropping on several platforms so this is something to note in the grand scheme of things but i wanted to bring it to your attention as i was making this video so with that being said back to the original content definitely caught my attention when i saw this for sure now as you know uh viz media they're behind naruto as mentioned just a second ago and many many other different ips as well shown a jump um you can see one piece and many others featured on their website uh one punch man death note bleach um now i don't know if they actually own some of these ips it's just featured on their website uh, but these are some of the things that you can kind of see in the realm in the scope of things um now will this translate to users and people buying nfts on the vv app that's really the million dollar question here and will it make vv relevant again so in my opinion i think this is obviously good for vv in the short term definitely will cause a little buzz um, i may be looking at these nfts myself uh, but at the end of the day i don't know if this makes vv like more relevant it just showcases that they have some more ip um i'm starting to look at vv as what alcon referred to kind of like the walmart of nfts where you have a lot of these different ips and brands like if you shop down target walmart and things things like that, these different types of retailers, you know that the toy section is like filled with a different IP and kind of nowadays these toys are really big. It's, I mean, looking at previous when I was a kid, they didn't have this much uh, cool things down these toy aisles. Nowadays, it's really um, definitely like scientific. They have like, you know, shelves over here for certain uh, IP like DC or Marvel. And it's really well thought out. Um, that's kind of how I think of Vivi is like that toy section in a Walmart Target or a big retailer. Um, and as you're browsing through the different aisles, you kind of see things that you know, trust and love. And you might buy it, you might not, or you just might wait for the next drop, what have you. So that's kind of the model I see Vivi going down. Um, I don't know if they have the capabilities to build like, in, you know, an entire game mode or games because the gaming studio costs millions and millions of dollars and you have to have tremendous amounts of runway. Now, I do know, obviously, they're working with... Uh, uh, you know, that metaverse company and what have you. But I don't know if that's enough to really uh, push the needle forward in terms of the wider, you know, gaming space. You start looking at Fortnite, you start looking at Roblox and these big juggernauts, Grand Theft Auto is coming out. Um, they will also integrate and they already do integrate IP into their games. And we heard Roblox mention in a previous video, if you missed it, you want to check that out, where they talk about NFTs and they envision NFTs in their gaming ecosystem. So that's where a lot of the juggernauts in the space will have a massive advantage. Uh, they may be watching platforms like Vivi on a small scale um, and how they can integrate that strategy really into their game. I don't necessarily think they're going to integrate outside parties into their game and make it interoperable. I think platforms like the Sandbox and many other types of metaverses out there are actually working towards that true interoperability um, style protocol from Neo Tokyo where you can essentially uh, have your own avatar made and they spit out like all these different avatars for all the different metaverses out there uh, based on your NFT that you hold, which is really cool. That's more true interoperability. We have Ready Player Me IP that is developing their own platform with the Readyverse or the Futureverse and what have you. So that's where a lot of the competition is really flexing their muscles there. Now, um, as mentioned, I just watched... Uh, uh, superstars on their kind of take and how Vivi is kind of becoming more of that collector app. 
yes and, and, and no. Um, on one end, you might just have people that love to buy things because they recognize the IP and they already like NFTs in general. Uh, but then you have the other you know types that definitely will collect it as well. So I think you have two different types of shoppers there. I don't think that it's like one or the other. I think there's just a hybrid of different people in there. And then of course, you'll, you'll still always still have flippers and speculators, I think in the app to a small degree. Um, but yeah, that's where I think kind of where everything sits with me currently with Vivi. Um, I think that the Omi token is not necessarily being integrated just yet. We're starting to see kind of the fall off and the drop off of Omi, which I think in a previous video, I kind of mentioned a long time ago before a couple OGs um, talking about triple zero fours um, as well. Uh, again, I'm not trying to bash the Omi token at all. It's just something that if you look at the technical analysis, um, this was definitely on the radar for sure about a year ago or so. Um, and, you know, obviously it's unfortunate. You don't want to see that. You don't want to see um, people that are holding a certain token, the value go down, right? That's not good for anybody. That's not good for the projects. It's not good for the community health, mental, like all that stuff, right? Um, but it goes to show that like you definitely need to, um, I guess, like put everything in context and or at least take the right approach to uh, where you're putting your dollars and who you're listening to and not just listening to anybody. Like you want to listen to very in intelligent people when it comes to investing. And that that's not financial advice at all, of course, but that's just my opinion on what I see lacking in the community is people with solid um, advice that are really laser sharp in terms of technical analysis or fundamentals or all the above, right? Investing. Um, and I would like to see that like, you know, come to back to fruition in terms of the VV community. Um, and also, obviously I would still love a lot of improvement on the VV side um, where they open up things like interoperability for some IP. Um, you know, I'd love to see them listed on a, a on a marketplace like Token Trove and call a, kind of follow suit with the rest of where Immutable X is going. I don't know if you guys know, but Immutable X is having a massive like activation around their passport and it's a shame that like vivi can't necessarily be on here because they're not necessarily interoperable um and and what have you there so you know i have a lot of items and why defense and uh, i'm starting to pick up some of these other games now i do have a couple of passport accounts uh just because i have a couple of emails and i forgot like once connected uh with one game and one's over here um is the reasoning behind that um just by mistake um but yeah like these gems over here you can claim these daily gems by holding immutable x and for example this game right here has uh, 100 gems just for playing game of guilds and mind you i've been collecting like one gem a day before i sent over a mutable x on zk evm um and now i have 76 so this is a huge activation that's going to drive you know retention user retention and people new people coming into their ecosystem and you can see down here there's other games doing this as well and to me it's kind of a shame that like there's nothing here for vb right like very much immutable x is like that web3 gamestop but even more so than that right because your infrastructure and so much more um so this is where you know previously a couple years ago i was hoping that vb would be like that collectible shop like inside of the or having collectibles similar to like how GameStop does when you go in for GameStop you look at all the games but you can also see all the cool IP statues collectibles and things like that and that's how I pictured the Immutable X platform when it came to Vivi and it, it just really hasn't come to fruition yet and I wish they would do a little bit more in terms of that and you know basically acquiring more gamer on the gamer side I see that they try to do that with Ubisoft but there wasn't really much you could do with the NFT Sure, you could collect it, but uh, there's a lot of other things happening around Ubisoft. And we're going to go ahead and pop on over here to my Twitter account and I'll show you guys what I mean. And Ubisoft is basically going towards um, MetaQuest, right? So they're publishing on Just Dance or publishing the game Just Dance. And it looks like they have an integration with Ready Player Me. Now, as you guys know, Ready Player Me has been on my ra radar since early days. And I've always said Vivi should take the model of being like a hype beast where they should drop skins and avatars on their platform and make that interoperable with platforms like Ready Player Me. They already have the IP. Now they would just have to work with these, some of these IP brands and, and what have you to drop skins and things like that that you can equip and integrate that into Ready Player Me. So you can have a cool avatar decked out and all these different you know types of ecosystems and by default it would kind of be like in a sense that these would be interoperable on the meta quest and what have you so ready player me has been doing some pretty solid work you know they integrated with bmw they now it looks like here just dance on the meta quest and they have tons of other integrations uh across the board in terms of metaverses and experiences so anyways that's kind of my thoughts when i'm looking at the bigger picture of everything right now 
is is a little bit more I'd like to see from Vivi for me to really like want to jump back in, right? Um, it's kind of following, reminds me of a little bit of where Quid's journey was. And I know, hang on, hear me out. I know how you guys feel about Quid and I get it. I was there in the trenches and I at one point kind of bashed Quid as well. But my point being here is that um, the, the kind of same journey path, right? Like where Quid kind of relevant with Mr. Beast and had these like new concept of collectibles on the internet um, in a static format and Vivi kind of following a similar path, but you know, it's integrating web three, but not really taking all the benefits of web three. So I definitely would like to see a little bit more there because, you know, obviously I think some of the holders on Vivi would like to see some of this stuff, even though they argue like you have some of the very, very few select people that will argue against like the interoperability and safety and whatever. Uh, but that's really not where everything's going, right? We take a look at what Ready Player Me is doing um, uh, with the future verse. It looks like they're going like full interoperability and this is where i know how you guys feel about paul Barron, but this he just was on the channel with paul Barron, and and so this interview was actually really insightful something i've never seen before from futureverse and readyverse and and ready player me ip um but this is where kind of they're going and again um you know i this is where i'd like to see vivi go i know people again argue against it but this looks like the true resting place where ip will actually go in the future and it, it appears they're even in discussions with fortnite and I'm sure a lot of other big, you know, gaming platforms out there as well and actually probably advising some of these big gaming platforms. So I would encourage everybody to kind of maybe not like necessarily want to just gate everything for the sake of safety, because if you just do that, you kind of leave a bunch of cash and opportunity on the table for what it could be, right? Um, I'm okay with being having a, a few duplicates of an NFT and being able to port that in, port one of those uh, duplicates into a cool ecosystem. Um, so anyways, that's kind of what my thoughts are like when the again wider big picture um of what could make vivi successful now i'm not saying vivi is going to come back uh like roaring numbers in 2021 with all the liquidity or what have you um this is just where i see the the larger picture of the wider space uh and where things are going um now i'll definitely be taking a look at what you know what they're dropping here on the app uh this could be a, a nice little reactivation of course now um i don't know if this is going to bring, bring me back all the way right this might make me just want to collect maybe like one or something like that i don't know uh but yeah let me know what your guys thoughts are on where vv should go um and what vv should do uh again i've been super into the gaming space um and going full on in on, on gaming um you know i believe that this is where everything is going to go we've seen the roblox ceo talk about nfts and web3 um and now just kind of seeing a little bit of alpha around where you know ready player me is going on the meta quest and then you have futureverse with their um platform where they're going uh over here with you know talks with maybe roblox and fortnite and what have you so i think there's a lot of things here that are happening in the gaming space uh, and this is why i created my channel early on because i early on i saw the convergence of ai gaming and nfts converging into each other to really form what i think is the the backbone of the metaverse and where things will go in the future so anyways i know that's like a lot of thoughts and that's kind of like vague and ambiguous but that's really where you kind of need to be if you are looking to you know put your money into certain things right like i don't want to you know miss an opportunity over here because i'm so locked into a you know a platform over there so with that being said let me know what you guys think what is your strategy i know some of you guys are uh, mega ogs and vv and you guys love vv and you're on there and you're still partaking and that's cool but for me i want to make sure i'm maximizing my opportunities everywhere and not just locked into to one platform but really being able to diversify um, as a whole and not saying like I'm a maxi of these platforms. I'm just saying that uh, this is where my head's at in terms of like being kind of the investor hat or the financial hat and maximizing the gains and opportunities uh, space wide and really where the space is going all together. And uh, this kind of proves a little bit of what we were saying on the channel with the interoperability IP and NFTs and where things were going. So this is kind of a light confirmation of that right there. Um, so you definitely want to check that out. Uh, but yeah, I just kind of wanted to come back to the video, um, come back from like VV retirement because I thought this this IP is actually a pretty big IP um, and it's big enough to definitely make me want to do a video about it. I'm super a big fan of Naruto, Naruto myself um, and definitely would be willing to definitely spend 
a little bit of money on this IP. Um, Sasuke, Naruto, and all the characters within that universe, uh, and Kakashi, one of my favorite characters in literally all animes combined. Uh, but yeah, with that being said, I know that's a lot, but let me know if you liked the video. Like, subscribe, turn on notifications if you like more videos like this. And with that being said, be like an NFT, be authentic, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.